Hello friends, it's Chris here from Whiskey Creek, and today we're going to have a look at a new look bus. This new look bus is Rapido's offering in the N scale version of their successful HO new look buses, the also known as the fishbowl bus. The prototype of these were built between 1959 and 1986 and they saw service in multiple cities at least until the 1990s, if not beyond into the early 2000s. The scheme that I got here is the Go Transit one, which works well since for my passenger service I model in Go Transit. When Rapido made their HO scale version, they had a number more cities available, so while I do model in Go Transit and I do have a interest in Go Transit stuff, I would have definitely liked to see a Mississauga Transit bus, which I have a lot more experience riding on back in the days of high school, riding to and from school on the Mississauga Transit buses. But for now, I'll go with the Go Transit and hopefully, Rapido, if you're watching, then you can see another run of the N scale ones in Mississauga Transit scheme. So let's have a look inside. So I got this one from Paris Junction in Paris, Ontario. And we have the bus, as well as some spare parts. I'm not sure which those are. I know the HO scale ones, they come with extra bumpers and stuff, but these just look like extra mirrors, I think. And you get your exploded parts diagram. Buffalo bus. And English and French write up of the history about the bus. So now we'll get inside the plastic clamshell here. So tiny and cute. So, as you can see, hopefully the camera will pick this up. That's a nice detail. On the outside, you can even see the steering wheel. You can see all the seats on the inside there. I know that Rapido has a video for their HO version on popping these open and adding people if you uh, want your bus to be populated. The wheels are supposed to move. They sort of do. I don't know who's actually driving around their N-scale buses, but they do have some movement to them and they have rubber wheels on the bottom here. Now one thing that you have an option for is to light up parts of the bus. So it's only the headlights and the rear lights that light up on this. And you can use either 9 volt or 12 volt supply for this. One downside of the N scale version is you can only get these in light up versions. The HO was offered in lighted or non lighted. So, N scale, you no matter what have this wire sticking out the bottom. And the other downside that I found with this is you're stuck with only using a wired power supply, whereas some of the other Rapido. 
coaches and, and other offerings. You can use like batteries and um, use their magic wand to be able to power it on and off. Not that this is a total deal breaker, but it'd be nice to not be fixated on where I have to place this on the layout to be able to light it. So what I may end up doing is a little bit of electrical tape to black electrical tape and maybe tape that underneath for until I figure out where this actually is going to live. So I found a 9 volt battery. Hopefully this one works. We will give it a try and see if we can get this thing to light up without my sausage hands in the way. So there's the front headlights lit up. And there's your rear lights. If you don't hold the 9 volts steady enough, then it's almost like the brake lights. Very cool. The HO scale one actually lights up on the inside so you can illuminate the people on the inside of the bus. But the life of an end scaler is your strap for real estate. Alright, so we've found a little piece of electrical tape. And it works a lot better if I actually do it in the camera view. There you go. All right, last thing we need to do is see it on the layout. Of course, the home for it may not necessarily become a permanent home. That's why I taped up the wires until I actually confirm that's where it's going to actually reside on the layout. And uh, then I can actually start drilling some holes and supplying power. But it certainly makes a, a great background piece. I mean, it's a model railroad, so the focus is obviously the railroad. But this will certainly suffice at the GO station. And here we are with the bus on the layout at the station, waiting to pick up some passengers. Really nice detail there. Perfect. Overall, very nice addition to the layout. Thanks Rapido for putting out something for us end scalers. But remember, I'm looking forward to the Mississauga Transit one when you do that one and then Edge Night. If you want to have a look at the rest of my layout, I'll link to that at the end of this video. But until next time. Bye for now.